Hey there, Matt Kluskowski here and Lightroom CC has gotten an update. So it is Lightroom CC 2015.8. How do you get that update? Uh, you can go to your little Creative Cloud updater app and you can update through there or you can always go inside of Lightroom, go to the help menu and come down here to updates. So cool thing about the, uh, the latest update is when you launch it, it actually tells you what the new features are. So what does that need me for? Nothing. No. Um, I, I'm going to go over a reference view in just a second, kind of where I see where I kind of see it fit in. Uh, you can see there's a couple other things, you know, performance improvements, um, kind of hard to demo, but they're there. And then uh, and then if you use smart collections and you'll see that there's some filtering status changes when it comes to uh, whether or not you use snapshots. And then, of course, there is camera updates. OK, so let's jump in here to to reference view. You really need to be in the develop module to use this. And uh, when you go into the develop module, you will see that below your, your little loop view icon below the, the photo over here. And by the way, if you don't see this little bar right here, hit the letter T for toolbar. Because if you accidentally hit the letter T and it went away, you're never going to see what I'm talking about. So hit the letter T again, and that'll bring back that toolbar. And you'll see that there's your referenced view over here. So what this does is this is going to let us compare two photos for editing. Um, the photo on the left is going to be the reference. So I'm going to drag this photo actually over here and then I'll drag a photo on the right as my active photo. This is going to be the photo that I'm editing. So what we really want to do with reference view is we're trying to get our active photo to look like the reference. I'm actually going to hide the left hand panels, give myself a little bit more room too. So if you're wondering why would you want to do this, you know, I, I've, I've gotten a lot of questions on it. You know, where does it really fit in? Here's where it would fit in for me is if it, it's more if I found a photo online where I liked the style, then I could use that as a reference to try to, to you know, kind of maybe reverse engineer that style here inside of Lightroom. It also works for me if, you know, a lot of times I, I shoot a lot of photos with my cell phone and they're JPEGs and I do some editing in the phone and they're saved as JPEGs. So I don't have the special sauce that made my, my settings there. So I could bring it in here to reference view and try to create it because you know, somebody asked a very good question and I thought the same thing, which is, you know, if I got the photo in Lightroom and I edited it, why do I need to compare it? Because I know what I did to edit it. Can't I just copy and paste those settings? And, and you could, but there's some other uses for it. So the idea here is, is, you know, I don't know the, the secret sauce that made this photo, but I do know that it's black and white. So I'll do a black and white conversion. Uh, maybe it looks like, you know, quite contrasty. So blacks and the whites pull back on the highlights. Um, I think my blacks are even stronger when I look at the blacks over here and I look at the blacks over here, I can see a big difference there. So uh, maybe I go in here, maybe I add a little bit more clarity, even some contrast to it. And it looks like this one has a pretty strong vignette around the edges here. So maybe I'll go over here and strengthen that vignette a little bit. So that's just a sample of what you can do. Again, you can do anything here. You, know, you can basically look through here, try to reverse engineer whatever you're seeing on the reference side of things. And uh, the idea is, you know, when you don't know what the secret sauce that went into making the photo over here, but you want to try to help yourself get there, uh, that's where the reference view can help in. Okay. Uh, also, one last thing is go check out blogs.adobe.com forward slash Lightroom journal. All right. That is where they have the official blog post for Adobe Lightroom. You can see list the update right here. And as you go through here, if you're curious to see what new camera support there is, that's all listed right there on the website as well. Folks, thanks so much for joining me. Talk to you again real soon.